Hello. Uh, in the previous video, we we learned the two basic uh, functions, two basic commands for Stata. Uh, one is to draw a scatter plot, and the other is to run estimate a regression uh, model. Now we are going to make a little bit of uh, tweaks on these two uh, commands, and in the homework what we need to do here is uh, oh by the way let me first run uh, so i just closed and reopened state up and i will rerun uh two file again so this is the two file we saved in the previous video so uh, uh just execute the two file again so we get scatter plot and we get a regression table uh and the next task in the homework we need to do is to think about oh i i would like to ah i i i i want to show i want to have a look at the scatter plot first but i forgot to show you so if you want to run this part i just want to run uh this line then you can just drag and run then you only get you only do a uh, one one line so uh, you get this uh, scatter plot so now let's see the pattern in this data a uh, potential problem here is that this guy so there are so trade share is the the, the ratio between the sum of export and import divided by uh, the country's GDP. So uh, if it's, it can be greater than one be because the export plus import could be greater than GDP. So there are some a little, a few, a few countries uh, slightly above one, but there is a very strange country. This country it has trade share close to two so nearly 200 percent of import plus export to see what's going on open this and trade share is here and it is already already sorted by trade share so uh you may go down and find uh malta here malta has a very strange trade share. Uh, Malaysia and Belgium and what, uh, Mauritius uh, has trade share greater than one, but it's close to one. However, Malta is very, very an extreme outlier, st strong outlier. So we would like to remove this guy from our data. We would like to, uh, we would like to delete this deleting is simple but so I will show you how to delete one uh, country so for example there are a few different ways I will show you a few different ways uh, first you may drop drop command is uh, what you want to what, what you can use drop if so we are going to drop uh, if the country name equals Malta or I will first, okay, let me show you. I will, I'll, if you click, if trade share is, trade share is greater than 1.5, then drop that observation. Then if you use this command, one observation is deleted. We know what it is, it's Malta. Uh, however, this kind of command should be when when you do this kind of command you should be careful if you save the file right now then you are going to lose this one observation forever you delete it and save it so dropping one observation could be dangerous or it's so to be safe you may want to save the data file uh, under a different name but let me just go back so if you uh, so if you go back to the le uh, Road, uh, load, load the data again. Uh, what? So data in the memory would be lost. So 
So we are going to use this command replace. If you put replace option, so what I just did is I deleted one observation and suppose that I realized it, is, it was my mistake. So it could be dangerous. Uh, I, I could lose uh, an observation. So I tried to open the original data, but when I try to open the data, it says, no, it's not possible because there, there is already a data in my memory. So if I load another data again, then the memory, the data in my memory would be lost. So then I have to force, I have to overwrite the, uh, the memory by, by including additional command, replace. So uh, when you use, use this data set, replacing the already the existing data in the memory. So anyhow, I get the new data set, uh, the original data set with 65 observations. So it includes multi. And I will show you another, another exactly the same way to, to drop multi from the data. So previously I used uh, the idea that Malta is the only country with a uh, trade share trade share greater than 1.5. So you could drop using this command. So drop if trade share is greater than 1.5. But alternatively, you may uh, uh, uh excuse me. You I may I may drop if country name equals Malta. So so when you do this, when you enter this command, one observation is deleted. You know which what is deleted, but I have two important commands in this command. First, uh, here equality. I repeated equality twice. It's not a typo. You have so for example, drop if country name equals say Japan for example, then it will cause an error, it will not work. Because, so the major difference here is, this equality, one equality, single equality and double equality, play different roles, that's the point. Uh, so mathematically, conceptually, in mathematics, there are two uh, cases when an equality is used. One case is when you define something. So let's say x equals to 100. In this case, what you're doing here is you define x as a number 100. So that's the first first usage of equality. And second usage is uh, drop if x equals 100. So in this case, x is already an existing number and 100 is already an existing number. And what you're doing Equality is to check if they satisfy the relationship or not. So, in in the latter case, in the second usage, equality is for uh, the relationship, not definition, right? So, so in Stata, the latter, the second usage, when you test two variable, two values relationship, whether they are right or not, you need to use double double equalities. Right? So, so when you use one equality, it means that this, this expression implicitly implies that you define country name equals Japan. But it, it does not work because country name is already defined. And after if you have to have a, a relationship expression. So this is a wrong expression. So you have to use double double equality. That's important. Um, keep that in mind. So double equality for relationship and one equality for definition, right? And second, here I used question, uh, quotient, quotient uh, because Malta, so now open the browser you see the difference between these, this, and this. This and this are totally different. So these guys, these guys are numbers, simply numbers. 
So you can tell that from here. Type is float. So it's uh, floating. They are, they are numbers. So they are numbers. So you can add them. You can sum them. You can calculate their averages. Uh, you can multiply them. You can do the basic operations for numbers. But this variable is not a number. Right here, it says type is str19, which means it's a string. It's a string of uh, words, alphabets. So it's not understood as a number in Stata. So you cannot, you cannot simply type Peru so, or um, Italy. So to, to denote that, this, this variable should take a um, uh, non-numerical value, Malta, you have to put uh, quotient marks or, or at the beginning and the end. So here, number does not get quotient mark, but here, uh, string, non-numerical, non-number uh, values should be uh, typed within quotient marks. These two things are very uh, important and very confusing because later, later on, you are going to see a lot of errors, but uh, sometimes you don't understand why. I, I, you, you may think you are doing exactly everything right, but still you get uh, errors. And typically, most common errors are coming from these kind of small things. I do make mistakes with this kind of uh, uh, notation. So later, we are going to experience a lot of uh, errors. Uh, it's uh, just you are learning it's like learning a new language. You have to try and uh, and get get comment, uh, get some feedbacks, and then try again. So that's how you learn a new language and how you learn a new program. Okay, I by the way, do not save the data. I'm going to. Uh, 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 by the way, one more thing. I so let's go back to the original data again. I will show you one more one more possible the same command that does the same thing with a different command so i have shown you two different ways to drop malta from the data i will show you the third way so i in the first way i use drop and with trade trade share or equality i just want you to introduce drop and the second command i showed you the same drop if uh, expression using a uh, non-number uh, expression relationship, uh, equality as relationship and non-number variable. And the third one is actually the same thing. Keep if country name is not Malta, right? So I change it drop to keep. So keep, keep is the, you know, just keep the observations. If country name is not Malta, so then how can you say not equal? The, the answer on, on, on Stata, it's exclamation mark equal and Malta. So exclamation mark stands for uh, negation, different or like negative. So it's not, not equal. So not equal means not uh, equality. Then if you do that, also you are going to drop the same uh, observation, Malta. So uh, I just gave you three examples of uh, that do exactly the same thing, and this is just uh, it's it's just very basic uh, expressions, the semantics when you handle when you use data. So I hope you find it fun. Uh, it's interesting, right? You can do a lot of things using this kind of conditional expressions. And however, actually you don't need them. Later, uh, like in the next video, I'm going to uh, follow the uh, homework question, how to use this. So see you there, bye. Uh, as I said, do not save your data file. Uh, do not save your data file, or if you want to save it, uh, save the original file uh, as a different name or save this with a different name.